Uh, my name is uh, Vinod Agarwal. I am the founder of uh, VK Learning. I did my uh, BTEC from IIT Delhi and a master's degree from Asian Institute of Technology, Bangkok, which is basically a, a UN body. It was founded way back in 50s. Uh, and I was very fortunate that the government of Netherlands uh, funded all my expenses for doing the masters. Now, uh, all along my career, I've been uh, associated with industrial automation using digital computers. And uh, <clears throat> uh, in automation, we use a lot of sensors, measuring instruments. And most of these instruments use uh, very basic principles of physics. For example, we have a magnetic flow meter, which, which is based on uh, you know, Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction. Uh, we use uh, flow meters, which use Bernoulli's principle for orifice meters and orifice nozzles. Then we have tank uh, level corrections, which are basically based on uh, Archimedes principles of floating uh, and so on and so forth. So uh, throughout my career, I have been in touch with core physics. And it so happens that <clears throat> uh, now I have taken a full-fledged uh, plunge into doing the uh, teaching of uh, physics, the subject physics, which is very close to my heart. Now, <clears throat> um, we have specially charted this course, not as, as, a, as a routine course, but as a very specialized course. And the reasons are, uh, as I will mention you. First of all, <clears throat> Uh, medium of instruction will be English only and all the relevant uh, links to the course material are given below. And this content of the course is complete and comprehensive uh, for all board exams, for all IITs, JE, NEET. Now, when I say uh, it is comprehensive and complete, uh, we have concised it in such a way that uh, you know, we have taken all this course contains only the core material, which is which is just essential to understand the concept and uh, uh, <clears throat> carry out uh, any numerical uh, solving problem. Uh, this material, the the material that we present, is so sufficient that you don't have to refer to any other books or notes or anything. Uh, if you don't find anything, then that topic doesn't, uh, is not included in your syllabus. Yeah. Um, and as I mentioned that uh, this, this course is, is a core course. We have taken all the frills out of it. So uh, all the irrelevant, irrelevant things, uh, I mean, which may be relevant for <clears throat> deep knowledge, but for the sake of study material, and basically we are, we are trying to, uh, uh, our goal is to achieve, uh, crack the exams. And the goal is not only to crack the exam, but to understand the subject and then crack it. So for doing that, uh, uh, some irrelevant things like history of something, uh, those things we have taken out. We are not included in this, in our curriculum. Uh, the advantage of this thing is that, that uh, if you have uh, some concentrated course, then it is very, then you can very quickly go through it for the first time or for the second time or for the revision or during exams. Now, during exams, you have very limited time. I mean, you can't go through, I mean, I know there are books available, which are textbooks available, which are very voluminous. Very good, but can you go through the, those books uh, during exams? Impossible. You have other subjects also to refer to, to study. Uh, 
those books may be very good, but uh, I'm afraid uh, you can't go through them. As simple as that. Now, the <clears throat> questions and answers that we have chosen uh, in this course are so that uh, the same concept is not repeated in another question. Meaning thereby, we, we have not increased the number of questions just for the sake of, uh, you know, making it voluminous. No, not at all. Once you have, uh, in one question, some concept has been used, uh, we have made sure that this concept is, the next question does not use this concept. The next con uh, question uses some different concept. So that within very short number of questions, the entire, uh, all the syllabus of the chapter or all the concepts of the chapter are covered. Uh, we have taken out trivial questions from our coursework. The reason is that <clears throat> we don't want you to unnecessarily spend your time in trivial questions. If you can do slightly uh, higher order questions, then obviously uh, trivial questions uh, are not necessary for you. It saves you time. Uh, and uh, as I mentioned earlier, our coursework is specially designed not to teach you theory only. The ultimate aim is that you should be able to solve the numerical exercises comfortably. Yeah. So the, the acid test is that if you are able to solve the uh, um, numerical exercises comfortably, then you have understood the complete uh, content of the course. Uh, now, um, basically, uh, this course content are available in video form. Then we will give you notes and there are selected question and answers. These selected question and answer you can solve on your own. If you are not, if you have any difficulty, the solutions are also given along with that. So um, you, I mean, it, you can choose your convenience, whichever way you want to do it. Then lastly, <clears throat> obviously, when you go through any course material, you have some doubts. Yeah? Uh, uh, this course is not online as such, but if you have any doubt, you can post it to me through email and we will try to see that you get the answers as quickly as possible. Uh, I'm sure uh, you will find this course slightly different from other courses. Uh, Basically, primarily, if I sum up the whole thing in one sentence, I will say this course is comprehensive and complete. You don't have to refer to any other course material for solving any problem or understanding any concept. Good luck to you. Thank you.